everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte. This video is a result of many requests from you guys and that is to do a new challenge video that's going around which is the style challenge. So in this challenge you first draw a cartoon character of yourself in your personal style. Then when you're done you choose other different cartoon or animation styles and create characters based on you but in that style. I picked way too many styles that I wanted to do and I knew this video would be so long if I did all the styles that I wanted to try so I limited myself to three for this video. If you like this video and would like to see more of the style challenges let me know in the comment section below what cartoon style you'd like to see me draw a character of myself in that style and who knows I might do a part two of this video. So actually creating my own style is a little bit challenging because I have lots of varying different styles depending on if I'm drawing more a realistic illustration or super cartoony illustration. So I tried to think if I was just going to draw a cartoon of myself, what would I have it look like? I kind of based it off of the style that I would have like at the end of my videos I usually have a little end card and has a cartoon character of me so I tried to base it on that kind of style. Now I know right now that my hair is not all that purple. It usually is more purple but right now I'm going through a lazy slump where I don't want to redye my hair so it's kind of pinkish blah. But if I keep up with my hair I really do like it to have that nice purple hedge to it so you'll see that reflected in a lot of my style pictures coming up. So this is my finished style for myself. I didn't put the glasses in there because actually when I do art I don't wear my glasses. I usually only wear them when I'm out and about in town or have to see distances. But if I'm at home I usually take them off. So I decided to forgo the glasses. Okay, so style number one that I decided to choose to go with, I wanted to do something Disney. Um, and I know a lot of people choose like a Disney princess, and I'm not saying that I won't do a Disney princess, maybe in another episode. But I decided to push myself and I chose a Disney fairy. So I based my sketch off of the Tinkerbell style of drawing, and I actually decided to go with the even before the, the Tinkerbell movies came out, there were like Tinkerbell books. I don't know if you guys remember those, but I absolutely loved the illustrations that were in those. So I tried to design my cartoon character based on that kind of style of drawing, which is a little bit different than like the animation of Tinkerbell. I like it. Everything's a little bit more flowy. The lines are really soft. Um, so I tried to keep everything really pastel -y in this picture. I get a little dark with the green, but it was pretty fun. So I also had to obviously come up with my talent because if you know anything about Disney fairies, the fairies all have different kinds of talents. And I decided of course my talent would be an art fairy. Maybe my job would be to help out the animal talent fairies by painting wings of ladybugs. So that's why I decided to draw there. I also decided to try to make my clothes based on some different kinds of flowers. So I went with a daisy. Not that daisies are particularly my favorite flower. I mean, I like them. They're not my favorite flower. My favorite flowers are like daffodils and violets and forget-me-nots. But a daisy just had the really nice color scheme that I was looking for. I also again decided to go with a nice purple hair color. Um, but I ended up giving her whole hair kind of a really deep dark purple and then the lighter shade of the purple up by her face. Or should I say my face because it's a cartoon picture of me. Yay! So there's my finished piece if I was a Disney fairy. So the next piece I did, I decided to go way back in history, back to when I was uh, very young and loved Saturday mornings for their cartoons and I picked a cartoon show that I watched faithfully every single time I could find it on which was DuckTales and extra bonus nerd points if any of you guys know the words to the theme song of DuckTales. Woohoo! So I designed myself to be a DuckTales character and the story that I have with this piece, because I always try to come up with little stories while I'm drawing, is my character would be like the local art teacher at the high school, but secretly Launchpad McQuack has like this crush on me and something will happen and I will be in terrible peril and Launchpad McQuack will have to rescue me. Because here's a piece of trivia for you. When I was a little girl, I had a huge crush on Launchpad McQuack. Yeah. So the last style I chose for this challenge um, harkens back to the very first show I watched that got me into anime, which is Sailor Moon. I remember distinctly flipping through the channels trying to find something to watch and here was this crazy anime and I'd never really watched any anime before. I, I was pretty sure that all they had to do with was with robots. 
And but it was a really pretty girl on it. I thought, well, I'm eating my cereal. I might as well watch it and fell in love with Sailor Moon. In fact, it was the episode, if you're familiar with the Sailor Moon episodes, it was in the Doom Tree series, and it was the episode when Ray is singing and the bad person is a mermaid. I just distinctly remember that. So I went ahead and designed myself as a Sailor Moon character. All the good planets are already taken, so I guess I'm not a Sailor Scout of a planet. But I did give myself a little moon scepter wand thing, which isn't really a moon scepter because it's a paintbrush scepter. And I decided to have to give myself, you know, color scheme. So again, I went with the kind of light lavender haircut, which is a little bit more wispy. I decided to um, bring up the tone a little bit to lighten it up so it's not so dark. It was also fun to kind of decide what the costume would look like, so I gave myself high heel shoes, kind of like Ray, but gave myself a nice kind of tealish green skirt. I also decided I wanted to include my special attack that I would have. I chose a rainbow, kind of splashing out there as blight attack. I don't know <laughs> what I would call it. Art beam attack! So drawing out this rainbow also gave me another big idea for a style challenge character to draw. So if you know your 80s cartoons and you know about rainbows, you might think, you might guess who I'm thinking of. So here are the four drawings I did, including my own personal style and then my three other styles, which was really, really fun. And again, I still have like a huge list of other ones that I want to try. And even if you guys don't want another video, I'm probably just going to draw them for myself because it was really fun to do. So one, if you want to see more of these style videos, let me know in the comment section below or give this video a thumbs up and also suggest what characters you'd like to see in the style challenge. You might think of one that I haven't thought of that I would be like, yeah, I want to do that one. And two, if you haven't done this challenge before, I really, really challenge you to do it. It is super, super fun. So if you post your pictures to any social media, make sure to tag me in your Instagram or Twitter pictures so I can see them. I'll put links to all my social media sites in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this video. And thanks for all your great comments and the thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.